Hey everyone, what is going on? It is me, Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be filming a small room room tour. My room is almost a an exact larger scale shoebox. It has four walls and it is fairly small. Personally, I am so very thankful for the size of room I have. I like it. It gets my bed, my desk, my clothes and extra storage in here fine. Of course, I'd one day love a large room, but for my teenage years, this room was pretty dang good to me. The style in this room, I really love my woods. I have wood flooring as well. I also just love like mustard yellows, burnt oranges, deeper toned colors. I don't like clutter. I like to have things in specific spots, in places. The things in my room have their homes and a lot of things in here have memories attached to them, yada yada yada. So this is my door. It is a sliding door, so um, it slides. <laughs> you go right in, there's a window right there uh, my desk, my dresser, my bed on this side. I really just called it one, two, three, four walls, everyone. Four walls, it's, it's, it's simple stuff here. First wall in my room is this one here. Here's my door, the top part. I had a photo wall for multiple, multiple years and I took it down this year and it left these dark marks on my wall it's not the greatest to see, but I mean, it's up there. I'm really short, so I, I don't, I notice it day to day, but it doesn't bother me too much. I have these things taped onto my wall. I have an Ovo Maltine chocolate bar. When my friend Julia came here, uh, she introduced me to these Ovo Maltine chocolates. They are so good. I believe there is dairy in them, so haven't had them in a while. Then I have these lyrics up. When I very, very first got this room, I planned on painting on like quotes, song lyrics, stuff like that. But I just never got around to it and then I noticed or realized that it was just too much work. It says way back on the radio dial, if I got lit instead of bright eyed child, every note just wrapped around your soul. I'm still a guitarist in Memphis all the way to rock and roll. Roll. <laughs> roll. I've got a card here, me and my friend Julie. I believe I, I got this card when we were at like some type of market. This here is a postcard from Topshop. We randomly bought it. This takeaway Nando's flyer is one of my birthday cards from my friend Emma. This Yikes Bikes little book, I don't know. Ella gave it to me for my birthday as well. And then you've got a picture of this L crane thing. I had to do a alphabet photography project for my photography class back in high school. And I just really loved this L. It's one of those like massive cranes that they use for construction. I took a picture of it when it was like all high up there and uh, printed it out. This picture here are the pigs, my two favorite pigs. When I went to the Philippines earlier this year, I planted some trees and this is just a picture of the, of like the fur on the day where they got planted. And this little cutout thing right here was given to me from my friend Sarah. It just says, without borders. I also have some of these like glow-in-the-dark stars. They used to hang like that, like that on my wall, but they just kind of, they fell down and so one end is attached and I don't really care to put it back up there. So they're just left on that corner. At this corner of my bed, I got my four hats, my iridescent bucket hat, I have my Bible, this lamp that I use at, during the night. I will turn off my ceiling light and then just use this. I have this little bowl because I like it, it's cute. <laughs> and a couple of my watches. Down below here, this first bin is for my scarves, my tights, my leggings, tank top, undershirts, beanies. Since it's getting cold now, the next one below it are all my DVDs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay y'all, I'm so freaking sorry, that scared me so much. I'm filming another video and that was my alarm to ch like, wow, that like, whew, that really like, shook me up a little bit. Anyways, 
the next um, bin below it is with my DVDs, CDs, stuff like that. And then just underneath, I keep my bags. That's why it just looks black down there. And then I have two pairs of little sandal heels. And then on this post right here, I just like to keep my everyday bag. Whatever bag I'm using on a daily basis, I'll just... Keep it on there for easy access. Now, my bed. Well, let's start with first under my bed. I have all like storage just running from the front all the way to the back of my bed, all the way to the wall. I have this bin full of extra clothes. I have backpacks and art supplies and bins and I keep my tripod under there. An old printer is under there. I keep so much down there. Anyways, focusing up top, I have a white bed sheet with this black floral embroidery on it. It's very, very cute. I love how simple it is. I have this light blue fleece blanket. Then I've got two mustard colored striped pillows. This pillow used to be a shiny gold, but I feel like it's matted out throughout the years. Longer navy blue body pillow at the back. I just keep it there. Burnt orange pillow there and a burgundy colored plaid pillow. That's my bed. It's very simple and just above it I keep my calendar. I make it out of post-it notes and whenever the month changes I switch it up. Now moving along I got my window and below it is my desk. Here I always have the essentials. A tissue box. This time it's a nice kitten one. Got my headphones on my desk. I also use eye drops a couple times during the day so I like having them. I have my salt lamp. I love this thing whenever you're doing like stressful school work. It's very very calming. I have my computer here and usually I'll have my phone on my desk or just on this side table. This is my chair. It matches my table. Although they aren't deeper toned colors I still like the mixture on the cushion. I just thoroughly love the design of my chair. It's very earthy and I like that. Right beside it is, oh, <laughs> can't forget, right behind my chair is my garbage can. And right next to my chair, I have my guitar and my ukulele. And right beside those, I keep basically like a charging station. I have an extension power bank where I keep my laptop charger camera charger, phone charger, and they just kind of chill over there. Just beside my charging or power bank, I have this little side organizer. Usually right on top, I have some nail polish, this little catch-all dish that doesn't really catch too much at all except some seashells that I got from the beach and a couple rocks. I just like the color of the dish. Also, there's another one there with a nice painted rainbow, which I find very beautiful, and my water bottle is usually there as well. This is where I really just put anything. My phone, keys, whatever. Right beside it is my dresser and I have this tapestry-like thing where I keep a lot of random things, random. I've got some camp stuff, some sunglasses, pins, and what are these freaking called? Anyways, one of my cousins gave them to me and I uh, thought that I should cherish it. I've got this massive golden pin or whatever it's freaking called and I think it's very cool. Yellow yo-yo which I find so cute. Some little paintings that I randomly made. Some stickers. This is a Starburst wrapper that I kept because I ate that Starburst on the day where I hit my car. Yeah, kind of scary stuff. It was when I was learning, but I don't know, I just thought I would keep it as a reminder to always be careful while driving. Um, trust me, nothing happened. It was just a car, no one was in the car. Yada, yada, yada. Moving right along, just like a bunch of random, random stuff. Inside my dresser, I have skincare, obviously clothes and clothes and clothes and school supplies. Up top on my dresser, I've got this globe. I love the colors on this globe. I know that's like very insignificant or whatever, but damn, I just, I love it so much. Right beside it, I've got this fake plant with a little red ring on it. It's fake, but um, I think it, it looks like a berry or something within the plant. Next, I have my Bose speaker. I play music on this. This was my alarm clock for a while. In the corner there, I have this big bottle of some kind. I'm assuming it would be a wine. Me and my friends were out one day at the beach and we found a message in a bottle at the beach and I kept the bottle. There was a message but it was barely, we could barely read it. Right beside it, I have this painting. I tried to do a Bob Ross painting and that was my results. And then that just brings us to the wall with my door.
that's the end of the room tour. A lot of the things in my room I keep because of the colors, the colors on my wall here, the colors up there. If you have any questions or about whatever, let me know down below in the comments. I decided to film this video today because although it's not the sunniest, brightest day where you could see everything really well, it's like the most common weather and how I see my room the, for the most part. So I just thought it would be a very accurate Accurate translation to y'all. Please, please, please join the time. Have a good time. Thank you all so much for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Um, enjoy the time. I will see y'all in a little bit.